Start with Clemson and DJ Uyunglele at a really disappointing season. Yeah. Is there a quarterback question now going into next season? I don't know. Offense coordinator Brandon Streeter said, hey, he's got to re-earn that starting job. And you do have the number one overall quarterback in the 2021 class, and Gabe Klubnick, who's coming in now, competing with him for that job. So the reality is, at this point in time, you know, you may very well have, I don't want to say a quarterback competition, but a scenario that Clemson's seen in past years. Deshaun Watson, Nicole Stout. You can go back and look at Kelly Bryant and Trevor Lawrence. We've seen this before. So if, if DJ Uyunglele doesn't play the way I think the Clemson fan base and really the national college football scene is expecting, you could very well, DK, see maybe a change in quarterback to go with one of the younger, more talented recruits we've seen maybe since Trevor Lawrence to Clemson. Yeah, I think the competition's a good thing because yeah, I thought it really was to DJ Uyunglele's detriment last year that they couldn't go to anybody. They like He was kind of stuck out there, and it was painful to watch at times as he lost his confidence, where I felt, man, give him a break, like almost a mercy bench to let him catch his breath. But he was stuck out there all year, and the growing pains were there for everybody to see, and that lack of confidence was there. And now it'll push him. Like, now you've got to go out there. You've got to earn their job back, just like Brandon Streeter talked about. So I think he'll have to fight off, you know, a talented young player. But there's still a lot for him. He's still an uber-talented player who we saw. And this is probably one of the more perplexing things we saw last year was everybody thought it was a lock because of what he did in South Bend the year before when he stepped in for Trevor Lawrence. But it's a whole different ball game being the backup for one game versus carrying a team on your shoulders, especially the way it started last year with that pick six against Georgia, which really started the downward spiral. So I think it's a good thing the competition is there. I think Clemson fans can feel good about the position in case DJ doesn't work out. And maybe an entire offseason evaluating film, getting a fresh offensive system behind him with from fresh play calling could be to the uh, Clemson Tigers' benefit, whoever's playing quarterback. A few of the things to keep an eye on if you're looking at their defense, right? No James Skalski. It feels like he's been there for over a decade. So they're going to have a young linebacker group. Um, you know, that's one thing to keep an eye on. They lose both quarterbacks too. Goodrich and Booth, they're gone. Uh, so who replaces them? We know that Clemson likes to time put those guys on islands. So that's going to be a key component to all of this. And, you know, we shouldn't really put that much on DJ Uwe Ungalele last year. I thought one of the things that flew under the radar as far as their lack of offensive production was, first, the wide receivers. They were banged up quite often. And so can that group finally stay healthy? And can we see some of these guys take off, Bo Collins in particular, and take the next step? And then Adam Randall's another guy to keep an eye on, too. Dabo Sweeney's been swooning about him uh, being the specimen that he is at wide receiver as far as one of the younger guys who may very well emerge. Uh, but the offensive line. The offensive line did not play well last year for Clemson. That hasn't been an issue for them in the past. That's a group, too, to keep your eye on throughout the course of the spring game, but also heading into next year. Danny, what do you think about the, the new coordinators for Dabo Sweeney and maybe the, the pressure that Dabo is facing for the first time in a while? Yeah, I mean, I think for the first time, we've all looked at Clemson and we've always just put, you know, put Sharpie on them, preseason ACC champs. And the, for the first time, they feel a little bit vulnerable because of the uncertainty around DJ Uungle, because of the turnover at offensive coordinator. You mentioned the defensive coordinator. I think this is more, more significant positions to fill in a loss from Brent Venables, who has been the one staple. They've moved on from coordinators before, uh, whether it was Jeff Scott going on to South Florida, uh, and now, you know, go ahead and moving on from an offensive coordinator, Brandon Streeter. But the co-defensive coordinator route, Wes Goodwin and Mickey Kahn, I think staying in-house, I think that's good, but I think it is a significant question mark. And James Skalski was a player who seems like he's been there a decade, uh, have as much football as he's played. So I think the defensive side of the ball, as much as we talk about the question on the offensive side of the ball, I think that'll be probably the more interesting dynamic to this team because Brent Venable is one of the best defensive coordinators of the game, now the head coach at Oklahoma. As far as a motivator, detail-oriented, one of the best in the business, it is going to be big shoes to fill. So I think that's going to be probably the biggest challenge this team has to face is replacing Brent Venables. There will be one thing missing from their spring game. No Howard's Rock. They're not going to be going in that normal entrance due to construction there in the stadium. So not only do you have the stadium getting worked on, Howard's Rock will not be a part of that, you know, pregame ritual. Well, what about for the regular season? Is this? It'll be back. By, yeah, okay. it'll be back by then. But they're redoing the jumbotron Man, I, and portions of the stadium. I think. I think they'll be okay Brady's for the spring game. Breaking massive news. I was like, wait, Howard's Rock? <laughs> no, is Howard, going away. it's gone. Yeah, yeah, just for the spring with. game. Just okay. for the spring right. game. We hope anyway. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.